This just in, very late news. The inner demons are back. Hello everyone, thank you for turning into Team Forbidden's YouTube page as I said of some of the fanatic back with another update for Grand Maju. Not much has changed for this one, except uh, the collector has convinced me to up the deck to 45 cards. And there's a new little tool that we have in the side deck that I was going to main deck, and I actually trash talked the card at first, but it's only a common for whatever reason. But anyways, let's just get into it. Not too much has changed for this one. Still the three, Grand Maju de Isa, your main inner demon, gets 400 for every banished card that you got. Uh, three, Gizmek Orochi, the Serpent and Sky Slasher. Ah, uh, so good, so good. Banish top eight and summon him from hand or graveyard during either player's turn. Uh, three, Dimensional Shifter. Very great going first, messes up a lot of different decks. Basically, oh, drop it. Macrocosmos for the next two turns. What can you say? <laughs> three, Inspector Border. Because sometimes you just want a normal summon that's just to say, hey, you, no monster effects. And because we're now running 45, we have bumped Eater up to three, as well as Necroface. Uh, this is kind of your pseudo-secondary Grin Maju to Isa, and this is basically an alternative strategy, but you can also just potentially Necroface deck out someone to, if, uh, you know, if they're getting low on cards, you just banish the Necroface. Oh, banish another one. That, that's 15 cards right there. So, yeah, and, you're, and you run 45, so you should be okay. And just in case we go second, we run the one Pankratops. So that's it for the monsters. For spells, one Foolish. It, 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 it's literally just send a Rochi to grave. One Gold Sark. This is for Necroface, but you can also search any other thing that you want. One Feather Duster, because we can finally have nice things again. <sighs> After... You heard my rant on the Bandless video when it came off, finally. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Two Cosmic Cyclone, because sometimes you just need some extra back row removal that banishes. Two Pot of Desires, I'll be honest with you guys, I hate running three of this card. I could run three if I wanted to, but every time I run three, I Desires into two other Desires. I can't explain it, I don't know why it happens, it just always does. Then three Pot of Extravagance, and three Duality. Again, same ratios as last time, uh, I, I just really like these ratios. That's it for the spells. Traps. Three God says no. Three God saying stop taking my stuff. And no. Three Ice Barrier Imprisonment because it's a crazy card. Three best hand trap in the game. One second best hand trap in the game. Konami, put this card to two or three. Come on. not deserve to be at one we've got feather duster back we've got lightning storm it, it, help us kill the back row decks please into the extra deck extra deck is basically a bunch of wake of the dragon targets and stuff that you can potentially make such as penistag and link rebo uh you're never gonna s and then the rest is literally all waking the dragon targets y'all know what i'm about boom boom Bop, 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 bop. I really should not have to explain any of these. Besides, this is what the fifth Grand Mind deck profile on the channel. You should all what these. You should all know what these do. All right, <clears throat> side deck. Three Thunder King Ryo for any deck that really likes searching and special summoning. Unfortunately, it only stops one singular special summon, but I I really really like this card. It, I, I liked it when it first came out, and I still like it. Three Blizzard for some more spell protection. Again, I think this is a highly underrated spell card. Uh, one Imperial Order, uh, three not so evenly matched, two Waking the Dragons, and finally, the latest card, Banquet of Millions. You literally side this card in against any deck that uses their extra deck. So if they attempt to go into anything, you set Banquet of Millions, they attempt to go into anything, boom. Banish your entire extra deck, your opponent has to banish all of theirs. Sure, they get it back at the end of the turn, but that's one turn they don't have access to their entire extra deck. It's essentially a, it's a better, um, uh, 
artifact sanctum in this deck, I would call it. Considering it basically does the same thing where it locks them out of their extra deck for the turn, but this gives you 15 banish cards that you can either shuffle back in with Necroface, or it gives you 15 banished cards for Grand Maju. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's it's a nice little option. I originally talked down on the card at first, but then I saw people playing it and I'm like, you know, maybe I was wrong about this thing. It's not every day that I get to see it, but yeah, I think I, I was wrong about this card initially. It's pretty good. So yeah, anyways, that's the update to uh, Ice Necromanju with uh, Banquet of Millions. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down below for notifications. Let us know what other deck profiles you'd like to see in the future, and we will catch you guys later.